What's up guys, Zionic here. So today I wanted to do something a little different. I wanted to show you guys my top five search and destroy classes. These are the classes that I use when I'm not making videos, when I'm not using the worst guns in the game. These are the classes that I like the most and the most I have the most fun with. So getting started with the M13. This class right here is my long range, very accurate, high accuracy assault rifle. Here's the class setup real quick for you if you want to try it out. This gun is not top tier, and none of these guns are really going to be top tier for my top five classes, but uh, in terms of accuracy, this gun is highly accurate, pinpoint accurate, and it's just super fun. If you have good control of your aim, uh, this is a very fun gun to use, and it can melt people if you aim for the upper chest and the head. I generally always use a melee for my secondary just because my rush routes, I try to get there as fast as I can, and if you guys don't know, uh, a melee is pretty much the fastest way to go. You can move a little faster with these sticks, but I found that you swap to them slower, and I, I found myself getting killed by the swap speed because I'd get to my rush route, and then I would be switching when somebody would come around the corner. So I just stick with the regular melee, and that just works for me. But if the sticks work for you and you can time your, your rush routes, then yeah, go for that. As for the perks, these are pretty much going to be the same on almost every class. Now, I do change a few things here and there, but generally this is the setup that I'm going to run, which is EOD, Ghost, and Tune-Up. Obviously EOD to avoid getting killed by spawn nades, claymores, bouncing beddies, all that kind of stuff. I usually will never swap this off. I do not get rid of EOD. Now, Ghost is one that I do swap off sometimes, and what I will swap it for is either Restock, which is one of the strategies you can use for search is obviously from the first round nobody's going to have a uav so you can run restock instead of ghost and then if you notice somebody getting four kills without dying then you can just swap to ghost so that's generally what i'll do for some classes some maps it just depends sometimes i'll just leave ghost on if i'm playing solo i expect that my teammates are going to die a lot so i'll just leave ghost on just to not have to worry about it but if i have a team Definitely go with restock starting out and just pay attention to the kills that the enemies have. For the third perk, unless I'm using overkill, it's always going to be tune-up. The only ones I use on this one is amped and tune-up. And the only reason why I use amped is just for the swap speed if you're using overkill. But tune-up is just the main thing that you need in search and destroy is dead silence. And I want that as much as possible. So with tune-up, reduces the field upgrades by 40%. You can get dead silence almost every single round. And that's definitely something that's very important to me when it comes to playing aggressive. I want to be able to get dead silence as much as possible, allowing me to rush through spawns, or allowing me to actually move around the map without being sound hoard constantly. And this is pretty much going to be the setup that I use on every single class. So I'm, I'm not going to go over this again, but yeah, this is the setup that I, I recommend if you want to start playing Search and Destroy. Now onto the second class is my SCAR class. Now, I've made a video on this, and this gun right here, I don't know what it is, but it's super fun. I would say that the Amax is better than this gun in every way, but I mean, it's the SCAR, come on. I've loved the SCAR from all Call of Duties, and this is just one of my favorites. As you can see, the two, two that I just showed you both have Obsidian. Those are my only two Obsidian guns. So, I really, really love the SCAR, and this setup right here will work just fine for most situations. I will say that um, it's a slower gun, slower handling gun, so it's not great for rushing so much, but it is very accurate and it is very deadly if you're aiming for the upper chest or the head. Same as you can see, oh and I forgot to, I forgot to do my lethal and my tactical. So my lethal is always going to be a frag grenade. I spawn nade every single round. I usually, there's only a few maps where I use the Semtex and that's pretty much all I use. I rarely ever use the C4. Sometimes if I'm doing some kind of joke class, I'll run Claymores, but generally if I'm using a class that I am, I have built and I'm gonna use on a regular basis, it's gonna have a frag grenade on it or a Semtex depending on the map. And there's certain maps where a Semtex, you can stop their rush route a little bit quicker. And so I'll switch to that on those. As for the tactical, there's only two that I ever use now. In the beginning of the game, I started off using stuns. And I kind of found that after playing Search for a while, uh, what I was using stuns for was I would throw it in a rush route just to see if people were there. Well, after playing Search for quite a while now, I just kind of know where people are going to go. And so I found that I, I didn't really need the stuns. But Smokes, 
smokes now, they come in handy. In terms of, say you know that on a certain map, there's a, a route that the enemy team can get there first before you. Well, you can throw a smoke to run through that route without getting killed. You can block off lines of sight, or my favorite way to use the smoke grenade, and it works almost every time, and this is for clutch situations. If you come against, say, a 3v1, 4v1, something like that, and they have the bomb down, they've planted the bomb. Well, one of the techniques that I use with smoke is I will throw the smoke on the bomb. I won't go for the defuse, but what that does is they immediately have to come out of their corners, their little camp spots, and they have to check the bomb. So what I'll do is I'll get into a position ready. Once they start coming out of their little camp spots, I'm going to start taking them out. I'm going to pop dead silence, and I'm gonna just going to run through them. So smokes are very good for search and destroy, and you don't see a lot of people using them in the way that they can be used. Use them to block off lines of sight use them to lure the enemies out of their camp spots. So I really love smokes and now it's pretty much one of my go-to's on almost every class and you see in my videos I'm always throwing smokes. The only other um, equipment that I will use is stim and obviously what we use stim for is we use it for stim rushing. So much, Not so much so to, to heal yourself but I use it to beat them to a route. If there's certain maps where you know, someone can get there faster than you if, if they're not stimming. Well, if you stim, nine times out of ten, you can get there faster than them. If you combine this with double time, you're just an absolute machine. But I usually don't use double time just because of the spawn needs. So I feel like with using a melee plus stims without double time, you're still fine. You don't really need double time. And this is just for rushing just as hard as you possibly can. And also, obviously, the, the added benefit of healing you uh, quicker is is not a bad thing as well. This combined with restock gives you you know multiple heals in a round, and it's definitely not bad to use at at all. But I I most of the time I'll I'll just run smoke just because I'd rather move through the map more comfortable than rush as hard as I can and possibly end up getting killed because somebody's already stopped and sitting in a corner as I'm rushing by. Now on to the third class, which is the overkill class with specialist. This class right here is absolutely dominating. I mean, you have the MP5, which is just a god gun in this game, and it has been since the beginning. And then you have your long range, which you have the Car 98, which it got buffed a couple times, and it's, it's dirty. So you combine this setup here, and you have your close range, you have your long range, and it's the best of both worlds, really. If they start challenging you from too far for the MP5, well, you can just pop them right in the head with the Car 98. I use Overkill and Specialist just to get me that Ghost. Uh, it only takes two kills to get Ghost, so it's really not that bad. And uh, also end up getting Restock at the end here. This is my only class that I will use Specialist on. And that's just because I'm running Overkill and I don't have my tune-up and I don't have my Ghost. So I figured, you know what, I want Specialist, I want to be able to get that tune-up, I want to be able to get that Ghost. And this is just a high aggression very overpowered class setup. If you guys haven't tried this, go ahead and give it a shot. It's just dominating in Search and Destroy. Now on to the fourth class. It has got to be the Galil. Now like I said, in no particular order, but this Galil is just ridiculous. After they added it, it basically made the AK and the Scar and the Odin, all of them obsolete because it's better than them in every way. I really do enjoy using this gun. I don't know if I'd say it's overpowered, but it is definitely just a dominating gun. There is no situation where this thing doesn't melt. Up close, two shots to the head, easy. Three shots to the upper chest, easy. Has great range, great handling, great ADS speed. Recoil is super easy to manage. I mean, this gun's been out for a while, so I'm sure you guys have used it. Try this setup. It's really, it's, I mean, it's just a versatile gun too as well. I try all these, all these barrels are worth, worth trying out. Make it a little bit fast. Make it a submachine gun. Don't throw on the no stock. I would say stay with this one. This, this stock right here has faster ADS speed gains than this stock here. So if it's ADS and good enough for you and you have this stock on, then no problem. But if you want it to be a little snappier, throw on the close quarter stock. I think it has the same ADS bonus as the TAC laser. So this one is the one I generally go with just because I want to aim as fast as I possibly can. 
This is just my search setup. Obviously, if you were going to play respawn or something like that, you could probably take off the commando and put on a 45 round mag. And that would do just fine for you. And then obviously the same setup everywhere else. Now on to the fifth class. And this is a new one. The ISO. Guys, I don't know what it is about this gun, but I love this gun. It is definitely middle of the road submachine gun, but it's pretty accurate. You can use it at longer range and it's just it's just something about it. I don't really know exactly what it is yet, but I just really like playing with this gun. It's probably my favorite submachine gun at the moment, even though the MP5 is so strong. I just really like using this gun. And because it's not very strong, you don't see it very often. So that's generally one of the one of the guns that I like to use is the guns that not a lot of people are using. So this is my setup for it. I've changed it kind of from the last ISO video I made. And the only other thing that you could probably change is from this barrel to the nightshade barrel. Uh, it slows it down a little bit, so I was kind of messing around, and I, I found that I really like the revolution barrel. The only downside is no, no suppressor, so you're going to show up on the compass, and your gun's obviously going to be louder. But this is a, a faster version of the gun, and it's very accurate, and it's very fast and snappy. So I, I highly recommend this setup. And uh, it, I, like I said, I don't know what it is about the ISO because it's not a good gun. I can tell you right now from playing with it for quite a while, uh, in terms of other subs, it doesn't have the fastest time to kill. There's other subs that can kill at longer range. The MP7 has way more accuracy than this gun. But it's just really fun. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about these classes. Try them out. Let me know down in the comments what you think about them tell me which one of these is your favorite and uh tell me what your favorite classes are put down in the comments your top five and let me know what i should try next so i wanted to give you guys kind of, kind of an update so with the channel uh not this week but next week the uploads may be a little bit sporadic uh, i'm getting my computer in and i'm gonna have to learn how to edit on a computer. I don't know if you guys know this, but I do all my editing on the PS4, all my recording, and I recently got a, a PC set up, and it's coming in soon, and I'm going to have to learn how to use a capture card. I'm going to have to learn how to use a new editing program, and it's completely new to me. I've never done it, so hopefully the quality of the videos goes up, and hopefully I can figure it out in a timely manner so it doesn't take me too long, but I just wanted to give you guys an update just so you're not you know wondering where the videos are because it might be you know i might miss a few days just because i'm gonna have to start recording a different way anyway i really do appreciate you guys for watching all the new subscribers all the old subscribers thank you guys for liking for commenting for sharing this community we're building guys it's gonna be a good one i really do appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next video